Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today it is day two over at Niagara Falls Comic Con. And before we even get into the video, I wanted to show you a Funko Pop that someone gave me today. It was this one down here. Let me see if I can grab it. You guys ready for this? Mike from Stranger Things. Dennis, if you're watching, thank you so much. Oh, and also, I can't forget, guys, let's get started. I don't know if you guys can see, we've got a wild pops and props over here. Matt, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you? <laughs> good, good. That's good. <laughs> good to see you. Okay guys, I gotta show you the first Top Pops U2s has shown up for today and I'm gonna be signing one. Thank you so much for bringing it today. This is this is awesome. I know guys, right after the first one, we've got a second one here coming in from Pat. Hey, thanks for bringing it. Hey, no problem. All right guys, we've got two spins on the wheel. Go for it. You want to go first. <laughs> you can see them. Here we go. What do we got? Ah, uh, Top Ops t-shirt, you got another one. Hey, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, you guys got another spin then. Okay, now let's go ahead. Let's see what you get. What do we got? You get a loose pop. I'll grab the bin. If you guys want to see what the loose pop bin looks like, this is it here. There's a lot of good figures. All right guys, so Pat's going to be opening up a couple of his today. I know he's doing some for his channel as well. I want a prize. Oh, you did? Which one? Right. What did we get? Oh. So we got... Uh, Nice. Nice. Who's on the side there? Oh, we got prize number 10. That's special. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Rago. Nice. Favorite. I love when someone wins wow. a prize. That's a great prize. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Hey, you have to find somewhere. Well, look who decided to show up. Noah and Emily. Um, excuse me, you could have been here three hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. We All right. tried. Okay, well, hey, look at that. Did you go to parking spot? Yep. Now guys, we just check it out. We ran into a Funko Popcast over here in the wild. They're filming. I'm filming. They're going to be spinning. What do we got? Come on. Hey. I'll go grab one. All right guys, so they spent a bunch of the booths. They're going to be spinning some wheels. Let's see how this goes. I think you've got four, right? Four Sounds good. Let's do it. What do we got? Uh, Top Pops pin. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Okay, go for the next one here. I'll grab them after. We've got sticker. Cool. What else do we got? 20 or a t-shirt. Loose pop. That one's pretty good. There's a lot of good ones. Okay, what do we got? One more. Uh, prize box. I'll go get it. Here in the wild, everybody, we've got a K-Dog and Fish. How's it going? Okay, everybody, so we're now out of the booth and we're going to be walking around for a little bit because Noah wanted to go and find something today. What are we getting? We're going to find Zoro's sword. We're buying a sword, I guess. Now, Noah, you know where this is more than I do. Oh, I take it's right here? Uh, no, those are mystery boxes. All righty, sounds good. No, it sounds like we're in like Ludwig's stream room. Do you hear that song? I do hear it. It's, a, it's just like his outro. Anyways, guys, uh, we made it to the swords. So, Noah, which one are you looking at? See the purple one with the red bands around it? I do, I do. There we go. Okay, that's what we're going for? Yep. All right, sounds good. Well, guys, that was fun. We actually just finished up over at the panel. There's nobody here anymore. Hey, Noah, I didn't do a video while we were doing the panel. I was a little... I should have, I should have. Oh, hi, Emily. How's it going? I know, it would have been fun. I'd turn around and show everybody. Aww. Well, anyways, if you came to the panel, thank you so much. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Oh, and also, I've never actually seen the outside from this angle. There's lots of people down there, and then you can even see the keg from here. Kind of cool. Okay, so there's about a half an hour till the con closes, so I figured we might as well walk around a bit. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys what the booth is looking like. So we've got some mystery bags, a couple cans left, and then this is all we've got for the $7 pops. Oh, and also, I'm sure you guys can tell, but people are really enjoying the wheel. What am I going to be getting? Hey, a t-shirt. And if you guys want to see what it's looking like, there is a lot of interesting characters, like the Chase Jack Armored as well as the Demongo, Scarmouche, we've also got Boruto, Pearl, the glow in the dark one, that's pretty sick. And then also looking around, I'm seeing like Bimo, Archer, we've also got like Devil Flanders, Xia Ling, which is a pretty cool one from Shang-Chi. Like a lot of figures that actually I don't see very often. And even speaking of one guys that we don't see very often, Howard the Duck, I really like this figure. I came a little bit farther down and I have run into the Star Wars section or at least a lot of the troopers as well as Mandalorians. It looks like just a bunch of Star Wars in general. There's Cara Dune, Knight Brother, the General Grievous, which is a really nice pop. And now I don't want to tell you which figure I'm going to be getting yet, but I do want to show you guys the table that I'm getting it from. And if you guys want to look, this is what they've got. And there's some pretty sick ones here. Now, I've been eyeing this booth pretty much the entire day today. I wanted to come over to Fly By Night because they have a lot of really cool Funko Pops that I haven't seen in years. Like over here, guys, if you want to check it out, a lot of the Naruto ones. I'm pretty sure Noah should be checking this out. And then a little bit over to the right here, they've got a lot of pretty reasonably priced Pokemon Pops, which I am a big fan of, as well 
is my hero. We've got like some, I believe this is Bakugan up here. Is it or is it Yu-Gi-Oh? Which one? It's Yu-Gi-Oh. I apologize. Then over on the back here, guys, there's a lot of older animation and I might have to pick up something depending on what I can find. And now it looks like I found the Star Wars section, which you guys know I am a big fan of. And some that I'm noticing is like IG-88 would be sick. And then I'm also seeing like Han Solo, Crosshair, the two pack down here, as well as Finn, Ray, Han Solo. I might have to get something from here. Oh, as well as Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Pretty cool. The next booth that I came over to, guys, is this one here. You've probably seen it before. Actually, that is that backwards? Oh, it is backwards. Hold on, I'll show you this one, guys. That is the logo right there if you want to check it out. It's buy any five items, you get the sixth one free. And they have so many figures, I always got to take a look when I'm here. Now, check this out, guys. This is maybe the most I've ever seen of, like, the covers in one spot. What is this, like, one, two, three, four, five, six? Pretty sick. Another pretty neat one that I ran into is there, of course, Pokemon as well as video game section. I found two two Minecraft ones. You've got the Ocelot for $33.98, as well as the Steve in gold armor, and I'm kind of debating on that Ocelot. It's a pretty cool Bob. They let me know on the outside of the booth they have a bunch of Star Wars ones, and I gotta say, this is some crazy stuff, like the blue box ones, like Darth Maul, and then I noticed at the top there, Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. I hope you can see that. It's really cool. For anybody wondering, I picked up two pops over at that booth. So guys, I was just kind of looking at the booth, and then all of a sudden I noticed we had a new customer here. Um, Darth Maul? <laughs> Oh, 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 he's shopping. I know, just like that, everybody, day two of Comic-Con is complete. So let's go back to the office and I'll show you guys everything that we picked up today. All right, so we are back from Comic-Con and today was a super busy day. So busy that I didn't even really have time to film. Like we are almost completely out of mystery bags as well as sodas. You guys went crazy at the booth. And now with the stuff that I did pick up, I'm gonna try to go in somewhat of an order. And I think we'll start with this here, which is Mike, which was actually gifted to me at the beginning of the day. And so Dennis, if you're watching, thank you so much for hooking me up with this one because it is the last one I needed from the comment set. And I'm so glad I was able to get them with a pretty nice box. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box with the rest of the characters, this is what it's looking like. And now I've got, I think every single one of the comments. Yeah, it looks like it. And right around the same time as Mike, I was actually gifted another thing. And this one was a soda. And when you guys see it, you'll probably know why. And I gotta say, Fox and Dragon Hobbies, thank you so much for this one. I was gonna try to show this in the video, but he literally came by, dropped it off, and said, here you go. So thank you so much. And I guess let's crack this thing open to see if we get the common, because that's all I need. And now, if I get another chase today, I think this really could be crazy, because all I really want is the blue version of him. So let's find out. Come on! I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say, people. I mean, seriously, I, <laughs> Well, Fox and Dragon Hobbies, thank you so much for this guy. It's too bad it's the chase, which is such a weird thing to say, but hey, at least we still got a cool one for the collection. And I guess let's take a look at the Pog, because I don't know if I talked about it last time. This one here, yeah, if you guys check it out, is just the Angry Hades, and it is limited to one out of 1,300. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of soda chases, I went over to the K-Dog and Fish booth where they were doing a soda chase roulette, and well, I opened up a Boba Fett on their live stream. Let me just show you what I got. A lot of cases, Fish. You know? yeah. oh, no. it, why, is four never it? Hang on. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sticking with four. I'm not changing. I'm sticking. I got to. One in six usually. I go with one. Yeah. I say one. I'm going four. And now I feel like you guys know where I'm going with this one. I opened it up and well, I got the Chase Boba Fett. You guys got to check out the live stream. And now I do understand it looks the exact same as the common, but this one here glows in the dark blue. And I'll show that off in a second. But first, I just want to show you guys that it does say the Boba Fett glow in the dark. And then you can see on the pog, he's got like a bit of shine around him. That's the part that glows. And now I remember when they showed the promo photos for this one, it was a blue glow. So I want to see if that's what it is today. And also, I didn't break out the big black light. I've only got the little one because we only have one glow in the dark thing. So I'm going to try my best here to see how this does. It seems to be glowing all right. It's Kinda hard to see, but it is definitely blue. Oh, it's not even picking up on camera. If you guys wanna see what it's supposed to glow like, I'll pop it on the screen because it is a really nice one. Oh, and one thing that I do wanna mention about this one, and you might've noticed it about the figure already, is that this one does have a base. It's the first soda to have it, or at least Star Wars are the first sodas to have a base. And then it also bobbles, which is another first, and I'm not complaining too much because the head seems to be pretty level. It's not bad. And now let's get into the pops that I picked up, starting with this one here, the IG-88. This one was from a Smuggler's Bounty box a long time ago, and I didn't have it, so I figured it'd be a fun one to pick up today. And it's definitely a cool figure. 
And if you guys are curious how much I paid for this figure, it wasn't anything too crazy. I'm pretty sure it was like 35, which is cheaper than the box. And by that, I mean the Smuggler's Bounty box that it originally came in. And if you guys want to take a look at IG-88, let me see if I can pop him out of here. Oh, wow. Definitely a weird one. And I like that he's got two blasters. It's pretty sick. And I'm pretty sure he'll also come off the base. Oh, he does! That's really neat! Okay, I'm liking that a lot. I don't know, guys. There's something about the older Star Wars pops coming off their bases. I really enjoy them. Then the next figure that I would have picked up is that one where I showed you guys a giant table of figures, but didn't tell you exactly which one I grabbed. And the one that I got, well, is inside of this Fun Days box here. It was a $50 figure, and I thought it would be a fun one just because I did not have this one in the collection. I actually had another one from this set, but not this figure specifically. And if you want to take a look at the back of the box, it is one of these characters. I think you guys probably know which one I got. So I guess, guys, let me show you which one we grabbed, because it is my favorite out of the four, and this one here is Fanatic Fury. Definitely a sick figure. And now this is actually a figure I've never seen in person, because when I got my box, I was getting Funko Force. So this one here, I guess, just has never shown up in a store or anywhere that I've ever been to, so it is really cool to see this thing. Especially how it's a tornado, and then he's got the crown on the top. I am really enjoying this thing. Then the last place that I picked up something was over at the Buy 5, Get the 6th One Free booth, and I actually ended up getting two different figures, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this one here, the Qui-Gon Jinn on Tatooine, which I actually paid $50 for. Now, the only thing I was a little bit confused about this figure was the base that he's standing on, because from what it looked like, it seemed to be, and I'm trying to think, would it be Naboo? That's what it reminded me of. But apparently Funko's calling this Tatooine. If you guys know exactly what floor that's on, please let me know in the comment section below. And no, actually, you know, now that I think about it, I haven't shown you guys what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to see it, it's the base on this one, where normally it's black, but for this one, they made it kind of like a sand brown color. And then it also has this design, which looks like Naboo, but I guess it's Tatooine. I'm not sure. It's just not coming to me what floor would look like that on Tatooine. Like, Naboo definitely makes sense with all of those fancy buildings, but for this here, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, and something that I'm really enjoying about this Qui-Gon, and I've talked about this in the past, is how straight that lightsaber is. Seriously, I am not seeing any bend on this thing. And so then the next one that I got over at this booth was a pretty sick one. This one here is the Mandalorian with Grogu, but not the normal one. This one is actually the Amazon exclusive, and I think I got it for like 65? What's it say here? Yeah, 65. Which is a little bit pricey for this one, considering it only came out, I believe, last year. Let me see what it says on the bottom here. Yeah, 2021? Yeah, I'm not seeing the date on this thing. Okay, so it is 2021. Yeah, just last year. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, isn't this just the exact same Mandalorian as all of the other ones that they've done? And it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. And the reason that I wanted this one was because it actually comes with a limited edition pin that only comes inside of this here. And I'm not gonna take it out of there just because it seems like it's gonna be kind of hard to put back in, but it's the Mandalorian's face. And then taking a look at the pop, this is a chrome version of one that they did a little while ago. And I am really enjoying it, especially because they chromed it in all of the right places. So I would kind of consider this Mandalorian to be the ultimate one, and maybe I'll get rid of the rest of the ones in my collection. I don't know about that yet, but seriously, it is a really nice figure. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for Niagara Falls Comic Con Day 2. And let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite thing that we checked out today? Because for me, I definitely enjoyed going over to the K-Dog and Fish booth and doing the Soda Chase Roulette. It was a lot of fun, especially because I got the chase. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Did the math, I'm baby Johnny Cash. My girl gonna throw it back. Damn, my life is cinematic. Holy hell, this max. I make hits and you make trash. I'm on vacay, do not ask. Pulls out even Apple Jacks. Shut up, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx. Bought some cataracts. Watching our